Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So the name of my channel is called The Crap I Buy. So I buy a lot of stuff that is either good crap or bad crap. So, you know, I call it crap because I don't necessarily need it, but sometimes I do. Like today, I'm gonna talk about something awesome. It's basically what I'm doing is I'm a student for Chinese medicine and it's my fifth year, so, you know, it's tuition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I'm very happy to be in school and I want to give you guys basically some pointers that all the mistake I did to not do it, you know, and the way I was feeling to not feel it like this, you know, it's important basically to understand that we all learn a different way. And if I can give you guys some, some, some pointers it's gonna be easier for learning Chinese medicine because it's, it's, it's super hard, like, you know? Um, I was talking to this Chinese man one time, like before school, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna learn Chinese medicine. He was like, oh, oh, that's really hard. And I was like, yeah, yeah, come on. Oh my God, it was hard. Because the reason it's hard is because it's, it's not like university. I've been in university for five years, okay? And I learned my stuff somewhat, because I was doing like the studying before the exam, paying somewhat attention to class, and then forget everything the next day. You know, I didn't need this information, but acupuncture, you need it. And you need to apply it in a clinical environment. So that's why it's super important to start by mastering the basis. I was in a party and then somebody was screaming like, master the basis, master the basis. And it's kind of caught up in my head like, yeah. I need to master the basis because acupuncture basically has to do with the chi, the energy system of your body and the imbalance that the energy system can create with the organs and your body. So basically every single organs can be imbalanced. We all imbalance in some way, but the acupuncture balance it out, you know, and that's why it's the acupuncture is so related to organs and you need to basically master the basis of what the function of the organs. If you don't master the function of the organs, you're not really gonna know what type of diagnostic you can make and the future and the kind of points you're gonna use if you don't even know what the organs do. So my foundation class, my mistake, I thought I was in university and I was just studying the, the night before and I did good, oh yeah, I did good, to get B plus, it's enough for me. And I forgot everything, I got caught because then I realized, okay, I'm missing some piece of the puzzle. It's like a big puzzle and you pick up all the pieces slowly, surely, but slowly. So the first piece is foundation class, one and two, listen, grasp it, study it, eat it, sleep, and, and repeat. Like, you know, you need to really master the foundation class. It's gonna help a lot. And afterwards, like, you do kind of like a dynastic, you know? Uh, with the organs patterns so every single organs have patterns let me explain let's see the spleen okay the spleen is related with digestion is around six or five patterns i don't remember <laughs> don't get me on that but basically there's patterns to do diagnostics it's like western medicine you have a flu some patterns you know what you have a, a flu like you know so same thing with the spleen so the spleen, the spleen chi deficiency, the spleen young deficiency, spleen not holding blood, spleen dampness, cold dampness, whatever, damp heat. There's many things with the spleen. And you need to know the criteria of what each single patterns have. So let's say spleen chi, spleen chi deficiency. <laughs> I'm getting tired. I did this video like five times and my battery keep dying or that's no memory. Um, that's why this video is going to be the best. So basically, spleen chi deficiency. Uh, there's lassitude, emaciation, lack of appetite. Sometimes I have some craving. You have loose stools, the big one. So that's going to kind of help you ask the proper questions to get the proper diagnostic. Because if you understand exactly each single pattern, what exactly is the imbalance of each single pattern, when is going to come to ask the questions to your client? Because you need to ask the questions to your client to understand the diagnostic. You're going to ask better questions to direct you toward the diagnostic. The questions, there's 10, the 10 songs, or 14, according to other, some sources. But the 10 songs, basically digestions, urination, temperature, thirst, sweat, sleep, etc. 
you ask the questions, but you don't go and like, oh, how's your digestion? And the guy is gonna say like, it's good. Okay, how's your stools? They're okay, like they're fine. Like they're not gonna go and, and, and tell you like, yeah, I have like sticky stools. It's always like hard for me to wipe. Like you're gonna go in details, you need to go in details, but you have to know the patterns very well to know which question to ask. Because now I'm gonna ask him, okay, uh, digestion, do you have a lack of appetite? Oh, related to spleen. Do you have a acid reflex or oh, stomach, liver, stomach? Do you have any sounds in the stomach, liver cystination? So I ask questions to kind of direct me towards a diagnostic, towards which pattern to use. Sometimes there's more than one pattern. Sometimes there's two, three, even four sometimes. So if you have digestion issues and urination issues, then the spleen and the kidneys are affected. So you have to know how to properly navigate towards all this stuff because there's so much stuff. And my mistake on this is that I didn't study enough. I studied, but not for real. I studied just to pass the test again. And then I realized, you know what? I need to grasp this so well. So I use a strategy to study every day. So every day I learn one random thing, you know, like I learned today that uh, stomach yin deficiency, this constant hunger. I knew that, but I forgot. I wasn't sure it was stomach eat, but some immune deficiency as well, constant hunger and burning pain the, and, and the, uh, on the on the stomach region. So I learned that today. I grasp a little bit of the puzzle and I put it in my pocket. It's like a video game. Like you level up constantly, you know, like Final Fantasy. I always listen to the, like hear the music in my head, like, you know, yeah, and like, yeah, level up, yay. You know, I pick up the pieces, pick up slowly, surely. And, you know, I try to do it every day. And that's helped the most because you, you keep getting this information repeatedly in, in your head. And then it kind of help your brain grow like some muscle, but memorize and grasp better. And then you become better at it. And then you can memorize more stuff during the day. So basically, okay, you ask the questions, you find out the diagnostic, let's say spleen chi deficiency, you need to use a treatment principle. Treatment principle is like what you do with that. So basically you turn around the spleen chi. So by knowing that you need to tonify the spleen chi according to your diagnostic, according to the patterns, according to the questions, you need to use points. But which points to use? Well, points that tonify the spleen chi, spleen six, stomach 36, rent 12, you know, many points that can tonify the spleen chi, but that's another like headache because you need to know what the point function. And that like, man, like one time I was in class and I was doing an exam and it was like all about point function. I had no idea. I just took like one class about it and the teacher was like, just telling you one by one and you had to study it by yourself. And I was like, oh, so overwhelming. And I, I came to him and was like, what is this? I don't know points. And it's like, just sit down and relax. You know, you're going to be fine. And he was right. Because the more you do it, the more you use it, especially in clinic, you're going to remember it more. And I pick up information all the time about those points. Like spleen six, tonify the blood. Like, I, 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 need, I need to read on that. I'm not even sure. I know it's good for dampness, tonifying like uh, different organs, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's good for blood as well because I grasp it, because I took it. And then small piece by, by one by one by one by one, the same deal. You need to do a basis of points, basically of your ammunitions. Uh, you're like a, a warrior and you have to have your weapons. You know, you need to at least in clinic when you first start, know the basis of points as well popular points stomach 36 is i used to <laughs> when the teacher used to ask me in clinic like what point you should use once was stomach 36 and then like yes because it does so much but yeah mass try to master the basis and then pick up more points like i'm my fifth year i'm like the ghost of my school like i'm like a chair like i'm like the plant like I, i'm i've been there for five years like i'm i'm so there all the time but i learned the point called PC5, like I have no idea what it does. I know PC6 is good, like insomnia, calming the mind, blah, blah, blah. 
but we're talking about it and because I was in a different setting, I grasp it. You know, now remember what it does because I was in a different setting. So clinic is super important, super, super important. And I didn't take it seriously. Probably the first two years, I was just confused. They know really what I was doing. I became better and better and better. And then when I started becoming better and better, then I took it seriously because I was like, I saw improvement. I'm actually doing better. So don't get discouraged. Never compare yourself. I repeat, never compare yourself to others because that's what I used to do. That's why I was so like not motivated because I was like, oh, they're so much better than me. Like I will never be good like them. Now watch out, man. Ha. Yeah, I'm doing very well. You know, I don't compare myself to others anymore. When people know more than me, I just take it. Tell me, I'll take it, <laughs> you know? Like some students, they're like the first year and then they tell me stuff I, I forgot. I, I'll take it. I don't care no more than me. I'll take whatever you say and I'm going to, like, you know, I'm like absorb it. Like I'm like a X men like, you know, I have a superpower, absorb everything. Don't ever compare yourself to anybody. And, and if you get overwhelmed, just relax, take a deep breath. If I was able to do it, I use it to pick up the pieces technique. It just, it works, you know? You have to apply yourself. You have to study every day, slowly but surely, not not just one at the same time before the exam. It's not gonna work. You need to do it piece by piece, like a puzzle. You put the puzzle and the puzzle start to make sense to me. The puzzle is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, point location, same same deal point location like people are nervous to put the needle the first time it's, it's super not nervous because you gotta do it so many times that you're gonna do it eyes closed you know like you know you're gonna throw it <laughs> no just kidding but basically point location as well you need to basically know your anatomy know the tune measurements you know um it's it's gonna get easier because you're gonna do it repetitively so many times and i always try to learn new points location as well i'm always open and sometimes when you overwhelm you get closed and you don't want to learn more you need to slowly open yourself up that okay i'm gonna pick one point that i'm not sure and i'm gonna master it like gallbladder 34 i still ask this week how to find it because i have a, such a hard time it's normal but you know, and then the student told me like the it's good for uh, to sinews and uh, tendon, and I, I forgot that. I was like, oh my god, I forgot it. Like you know, you keep keep forgetting, but I pick up the pieces, and now I'm never gonna forget it. I know exactly where it is. I know exactly what it does. It's good, you know. So slowly but surely. So herbs, talk about herbs. The third year, so you just grasp the acupuncture, and then you come to hell the second time, like the second hell, because like, it's not like it's hell, but if I could go back to like the past and somebody would have to tell me, you have to learn acupuncture all over again. Oh. <laughs> I would say like, give me a shot of tequila please first. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a big process, but it's, it's doable. It's doable. Like, come on. Uh, but the herbs, yeah, it's just that there's a strategy as well with herbs. So basically herbs, goes with similar theory as the acupuncture like patterns etc etc but uh you need to know the herbs and they're all in chinese they're like so confusing like you know when the teacher was talking they were like blah 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 blah, 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 blah. i was like charlie brown like blah, 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 blah. i was like what the hell they're talking about man but i started to apply myself again the fourth year i decided to study herbs every single day and then i did funky super amazing association stories that whatever the herb name remind me of something i make a story about it and that worked for me i tell i tell everybody okay like nobody's gonna stop me to tell this it's just fantastic basically like a herb like name like sizuye sizuye like i don't even say it right like you know sizuye whatever man uh kind of reminds me of Suzy and Suzy Suzy was a bully in my high school and she's from my own town it's a fish place and she got pregnant and she always used to be bloated perfect 
It's good for nausea and vomiting. It's good for the middle jowl. It's good for uh, um, calming the fetus. It's good for uh, fish poisoning. I made an association with my funky story. But the problem is I forget my funky stories. And then I need to remember what was the funky story to remember what did the herb. And then the funky stories, man, is like, I have like a story about a snake with a diaper. I have like Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong girlfriend, Donkey Kong father, and Donkey Kong brother. I have so many Donkey Kong, like, you know. <laughs> I have, but it's fun. I made it fun. You know, it's not hell. It's like, like oh my God. Da, 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 da. What it does again. Oh my God. I no, I'm like, -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I having fun. Like, you know, and then when you master the herbs, it's going to help you to master the formulas. Because if you know, basically, what's in the herbs and what the herbs does, you have to know also somewhat the, the dosage. It's important. Toxicity of the herbs as well. Try to remember that. Um, and my story, I always remember that they're purple and there's a big, uh, big, big dead sign in their forehead. So that kind of teach me to remember it. But basically, if you remember the herbs, you're going to kind of like know what's going on in the formula. Because if you know the formula is good for something, uh, you already know what kind of herbs going to be for that formula. If that formula is good for like spinchy deficiency again, well, you know, fulling is going to be in there. That's going to tell you what's going to be in the formula. Or if you see the list of the formula, that's going to tell you, because you know the herbs, what the formula does. So it's getting easier and easier. I have a hard time in the formula because they're a long name and I cannot make funky stories as much as the herbs. So I need to find more funky stories. <laughs> yeah, basically. Like, I, I just, that, that worked for me. Like, so I'm trying with the formulas. I, I I'm grasping everything slowly, surely, but it, I'm doing very really good. And I, I noticed like when the supervisor talk about the herb, I can talk about it too. And I can add stuff that the supervisor forgot. That's, 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 that was my goal. Like five years ago, I was lost. I was in cells. I hated my job and I was in a little ball in my room and I was crying. I was like, you know what? I'm going to do the four year program and I'm going to be the best at the school. Yay. Well, I don't care about even the best at the school anymore, but I did a four year program. So, you know, I did the advanced program. Advanced program is the advanced stuff. You know, they talk a lot about formulas and, and acupuncture. It's more Western medicine oriented, but it gave me kind of like, somewhat like a chance to, to also study in my spare time, the herbs. And then the fifth year, like now I can do clinical even further. And I learn something in clinic, every single clinic, because my puzzle is so big. The pieces I pick so big that it's easier to pick up more pieces when you master everything. And that's why I want to teach you guys to master everything slowly, surely, and it's going to be all right. I did it. You know, I did it. You guys can do it. You know, there's no shame to be the last in the school. There's no shame to be the first in the school. Who cares? It's what matters is you get there. That what matters. And I got there. You know, now I see results. First treatment I do with clients. The next session, I see results already. Because my diagnostic was good. Because my pattern, I know my pattern very well. And because I ask the right questions. And I use the right points and I have the right location. I want to do that same with herbs eventually. And, you know, I think what you have to do is the passion. If you have the passion for it, me, like, I just like leveling up. I just like getting better and better and better. And that's, that's what made me keep going. And then that's, if you have the same fire inside, the same passion to helping people, to heal people, learning awesome medicine you guys gonna do it and i believe in you so if you have any questions about anything put it on a comment uh put a like button subscribe if you can and you know at the end of the day uh if i can help anybody i will do it it's a fun medicine to learn like i say like it's a headache but it's a good headache you know at the end of the day it's it's joyful so thank you very much for listening and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next uh, episode of uh, my, uh, the crop I buy, my channel.
Thank you.